So today I'm going to do for you a Chanel comparison video. And the two bags I'm going to compare is the WAP and the Mini Flat. I have a lot of people asking kind of which one would you buy, which do you prefer? And it's a really tough question. And I'm going to say right at the start that I don't think there's one I prefer, but they both have kind of different qualities to them. And that's what, like why I go for one at a certain time and the other at another time. So I thought I would explain and show you the insides of these two bags. Keep watching if that's what you want to see. So the first bag is this wallet on the chain, and this is in lamb skin leather. Um, I would say that if I was going to get another wok, which I do intend to, uh, that I would get it in caviar. Only because with a wok, it's something you just chuck on so quickly when you're running out the door, uh, if you're running through some errands, um, and it just basically is a wallet on the chain. Um, but saying that, the wear and tear on this bag really isn't that bad. I mean, there's a few scratches, but I kind of like having a few scratches on my bag. I mean, you use them. And what's really the point of getting these really beautiful bags if you're not going to enjoy them and not going to use them and have fun with them? That's the whole point. Um, I love this because it has a super, super long chain. I mean, when you put it cross body, it goes down to my hips and I'm 5'7", and that is the perfect place for me to have a bag. Um, I just think that's such a great thing about this, the length. For me, something that tells me on this bag is the length. Also, inside, it's super easy. So it has... I also love this because it's bright pink, seriously. How good is that? Throw it not in there, take some money. <laughs> um, so it's got really kind of the six card holders. It's got a zip compartment here at the front, and then it has two little flaps. And I think it's just so fantastic. Um, when I use it, I either, if I'm in a rush, I just put my small wallet inside this because it actually is a lot wider than what maybe you think. Um, and in comparison to the Mini, I mean, there is quite a difference. However, you'd be surprised what you can fit in here. I mean, I stuff this, um, but sometimes because it is a clip little uh, closer, it is hard when you overfill it, and it's not great because the clip will just kind of clip back open. Um, but anyway, moving on to this Mini. This Mini, um, so this is the regular rectangular Mini. Uh, I did see the square mini, but for me, it's just kind of not my style. Uh, but saying that, I think my style kind of changes, and I have found myself recently looking at the square mini, but I do think this fits more inside than the square mini. So opening this up, uh, this is more like the classic flat bags, obviously. It's not uh, technically in their classic range, it is seasonal, but um, I mean, this is such a beautiful bag, and this is something I would hand down to my children. Um, so you open that with the CC clasp, um, and inside you have the one big pocket, and then you have a zip pocket, or oh, can't open it, a zip, and then another little pocket. So in the zip pocket, I always kind of keep the authenticity card, um, and that's where I'll put coins or something. And then the one after, I might put credit cards, uh, but if I'm using this on a daily basis, I will actually just shove my whole little wallet in it. I have, I don't have it here, but I have a little Louis Vuitton coin purse, which I absolutely love. And that's what I've been using recently, and a Chanel card holder. And that is a really good investment. All my friends are like, why would you buy a Chanel card holder? That's the biggest waste of money. But the funny thing is, I literally use it the whole time. It's so much easier than kind of going through my wallet, um, or if I'm just going out the to grab the card holder and chuck it in. So now, looking at them both, uh, side by side, they're obviously um, quite similar in the length um, and quite similar in the height. I mean, the Mini is a little bit bigger. The really big difference for me on this is the side. You can fit so much in this Mini bag, um, and I do love that about this. And I think between this and then the next size up, which is the small, I think it's the small flap, there's not much difference. I mean, the next difference is when you go into the medium classic flap. Um, I think between this and the small, you can really fit the same amount of stuff in there. Uh, the only thing I do not like about the classic mini flap, and this kind of really uh, stops me from reaching for it quite a few times, is the length of this strap. I mean, this is perfect if you like wearing uh, kind of on the shoulder bags, but I love wearing bags across body. It just kind of frees up my hands. Um, and 
This strap, I mean, I do wear this crossbody and you can wear it crossbody, but it kind of sits me more above my hips, which is one of those awkward places for it to sit. Um, so that is the only one thing, and I'm again five foot seven, so I think that's uh, 160, I think I'm 168, 169 centimeters. Um, so that's the only thing I don't like about this. But all in all, I think both of these bags are really great, and it really depends what you want. Um, if you want more of it every day, just something you're gonna use the whole time, I would probably go for the wok. But then if you want something that's maybe a little bit more smart, a little more dressy, and something you can take to things at night, I would go for the mini. Because this is also really versatile, I use this during the day as well. But um, the wok's more what I grab for if I'm going quickly to the shops or doing something along those lines. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any other comparisons between bags that I have. Um, actually, I love these and I couldn't recommend them any higher. Um, so I will see you next time. I hope you have a great week. Bye, guys.